What is up, guys? My name is Joaquin Corrales. I'm the founder of Contact Flow. To start things off, I want to thank you guys for being a part of this. In these short videos, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that you could do in this system to fully exploit it. How do you create automatic flows? How do you create products? How do you integrate these products into your system? And we're going to split into three different videos, okay? The first one's going to be a slight overview. We're going to go over the dashboard and we're going to show you guys how to create products and how to integrate these products into your website, okay? By integrating these products into your website, we're then going to be able to uh, create automations that respond to our customers' actions. And it's extremely easy. There are a lot of different auto responders out there that make integration uh, a hassle. I mean, you have to change your complete system even at times, not with contact flow. And we'll get into that. In the second video, we're going to go over how to create these automated flows and how to import your contacts into the system. And in the final video, we'll go over how to create landing pages. How do landing pages connect to everything inside of the system and how to create email broadcast? It's extremely easy to use, but it's important that you guys watch these videos because then you won't be able, you won't have to seek so much help and you'll know exactly what it is that you need to do. But now that we got into the seeking help, what we do offer at Contact Flow is live chat 24-7. We put a lot of emphasis on the support because we, we, we could see how hard it is to get support from these other systems. And we want one of the differentiating factors in using us being that you could reach out to anyone at any time and get the support that you need. And how you do that is by going to this top right section right here where your username is at. You click it and then you hit the live chat feature and you're able to chat with us at any time time okay if you're if you're creating a flow and you're having any issues if you're having issues creating products or integrating you hit us up through this live chat at any time 24 7 and we will either connect to your computer to fix it or we'll help you through the feed always forever for everyone so let's get started we have this dashboard here with some very high level information as to what is going on in our business i'm not going to go into each of the details of it because it's really straightforward but just know that this middle chart here is something that you could toggle between emails and your financial kpis with the financial kpi basically being your revenue day after day in this bottom section here, you have the sales, which are the actual conversions that we're able to calculate based on the product integration that we're about to look at. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. In order to create our products and integrate them into our system, we're going to head over to the product section. Once we're at the product section, we're going to get a list of the products that we already have in this system. Now, if you used any of our integrations and we're actually developing integrations every single day, we're actually working on a Shopify one right now. And then later we're going to move into Samcart and WooCommerce. But basically what you're going to have to do uh, once you're here is you're going to have to add a new product. So you're going to click on add a new product and then you're going to be prompted with a name, a price, an interested tag and a purchase tag. So let's create a product here with the name Academy. And now that we create a product with the name Academy, we notice that it creates an interested tag and a purchase tag. What these tags mean and how we use tags in the system are uh, in order to segment our users, right? To differentiate our users from others. And now if we look a little bit lower, we have an interested tracking code and a purchase tracking code. Now the interested tracking code is gonna be put in the product info page, right? Or a page where someone would visit if they were to be interested in that product. And with the purchase tracking code, what we're going to do is that we're going to put this code in the thank you page, in the page after someone has purchased the product. And this is what's going to calculate the conversions that we saw in the dashboard. And, in, and right now I'm going to show you guys how to integrate this. It's extremely easy. You basically copy the code and let's use a WordPress site, for example. We click on here on a WordPress site and here we're at a page. If we just tab a couple times, we paste the code right there in the text section and we hit update. We're absolutely done. Every single contact that goes through here will be tagged with this Purchase Academy tag in order for us to automate flows based on that action, right? This is extremely powerful because we're able to set flows based on what products people are interested in but have not purchased. And we could either offer them another product or offer them a sale and basically engage with them knowing that information. This is extremely powerful and it's something that I'm going to show you guys how to do in the next video. Now. Once again, if you guys have any issues whatsoever integrating this or you're not exactly sure what to do, you could either hit the show me button right here, which will bring up a YouTube video that you'll be able to watch, or you'll be able to hit on this top right section here where the live chat will guide you through the steps. And let's go on to the next video where we learn how to integrate this into our flows.